And Brad just a moment ago said, I ran out, I ran out. They're telling him to flip that switch, flip the switch to get him I, into his fuel reserves. But Brad said, I'm going to try to make it, but I'm out. Can Carl Edwards, though, go the distance as well? So as the two is slow on the track, he's wobbling. He's trying to get as much fuel as he can, coming to the white flag one more time around. And here comes Carl Edwards. Does he have enough fuel? It's one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One. Brad Keselowski with fuel. He's got it fired up again. He's pulling away two from the 19. Two back. Two back. The battle Carl for the win. Down. Brad Keselowski, does he have enough fuel to get through three and four into the finish line? Carl Edwards right on his back bumper. Coming out of turn four. He's going to have enough. It's a replay. Brad Keselowski will win. <laughs> What if the tow truck did donuts right now? Because Brad can't, he's out of fuel. What's so impressive about all these teams and drivers saving fuel, Brad Keselowski and his team did it better than everybody else. There's no fuel gauge in the car. There's no fuel flow meter in the car. This is all based on the things that you've learned in practice, the things that you've learned in it, with the experience that you have, and you have to guess your way through it. You have to take all that information and find a way to get that fuel mileage. It's very, very difficult to do, and he ran out of fuel you know, right at the right time. That's amazing these drivers and teams can do that. 200 mile an hour chess game every weekend. <laughs> yes.